super high charge emotional topic, right? Super, super high charge. I rank nutrition up there with talking about religion and politics with your girlfriend's parents, right? There's no, there's the amount of fervor and venom and fever and pitch that, that comes with nutrition are, you know, because it's super, super weird topic. It doesn't stop us from doing it just because we're based. CrossFit looks at things in this order. Data, method, narrative. In this order. And it's, it's like this on purpose. So, for example, data just looks like a measurement. It's a number of some sort. And my, my favorite example of this is, we used to have, we used to have a, or no, we still have this girl, uh, Jamie, Jamie Murphy, her nickname's Badger. She comes to the 6 a.m.s. She was with us, she was with us for eight months. And inside of the eight months, she had zero pull-ups. Zero. She could do them with the band, but she couldn't do the band. So she had eight months, zero pull-ups. And there were, there were girls who were joining after her that got their pull-ups before her. It was very frustrating. We didn't know what to do. I knew what to do, but you know, it just it didn't happen. So that's the data, right? It's not a it's not a judgment, you know, it's not a character flaw or anything. It's just she was with us for eight months, she had zero pull-ups. Now what at the end of eight months she could not What's that? At the end of eight months she right, still could correct. Not do From zero. month zero to month eight, she had zero pull-ups without the band. Okay. Now uh, who has heard of the paleo diet before? <sighs> all of you. Okay. So here's actually no, I'll, I'll, I'll come back to that. Because the community started the, uh, this 30-day paleo challenge independently of us. Like they just, one day, well, someone wanted to start it and people jumped on it. And so they did it for 30 days. What ended up happening in the paleo, she ended up joining it too. And she felt better and everything was great. And it's still, it's, it's, a good, it's a good thing. But she still had zero pull-ups at the end of it. So what, she talked to me. And this is, this is another one of those things that led up to us doing the 201. Because I, I had this lecture with her that I'm going to give you guys right now. Um, there's this diet called the Zone, which a lot of us follow. Uh, and what ended up happening was, I'm not going to tell you the specifics yet, but I gave her the Zone and I said, I promised her pull-ups. I promised she was going to get pull-ups inside of two weeks. I just wanted her to do the Zone for two weeks. And so, one week went by, she, she did it. I think a week and a half went by, she just still didn't have her pull-ups. She's getting worried, I'm getting worried, because I promised this girl, right? But inside of one and a half weeks, she comes in during the warm-up and tries one pull-up without the band and makes it, right? And it felt so good that she came off and did another one and then did another one. So inside of one and a half weeks, she ended up with three pull-ups. Right? So this is data to me. So this is what this is what we look for first. Then if the data is interesting to us, only only if it's interesting do we look at the method, do we look at the method. How did she get zero pull-ups at eight months? I know that she was doing CrossFit, but outside of CrossFit, outside of coming here, I don't know what she was doing. Right? I have no idea what she was doing. I know that she did the paleo diet for, for 30 months. I'm sorry, 30 days. But out, but even within those 30 days, I don't know exactly what she was doing. So her diet could be really shitty. Her diet, I, I promise, with a 90, with a, probably a 90% accuracy, her diet is shitty. And so. Shitty being scientific term. Correct, right. It's the most scientific term we have. Measurably shitty, right? Now, how did she get three pull-ups inside of one and a half weeks? I know that she was doing CrossFit, and outside I know that she was doing the zone. Right? So, and all narrative is, is just talk, right? So it's, it's, I'm frustrated, the zone is cool, Zeb is cool, like anything, or CrossFit sucks, it's all just talk, right? So this, it, it's in this manner that CrossFit looks at things. Data first, method, then narrative. It's not, it's not like it's, this program is excellent, and we do such and such and such, and I'm now able to do such and such and such. It's, it's the reverse. So because we, we now know that your fitness looks like this, and your health looks like this, anything that improves these things dramatically is interesting to us, and anything that does not is not interesting to us. Okay, that's, that's that point, because a lot of people come up to me and says, you know, I, I have this cool new supplement, and I have this cool new shoe, and I have this cool new, you know, pair of like compression shorts or whatever. Only in their, they're only interesting to me in their ability to improve my client's fitness over over time, right? So now, nutrition. We'll talk first. 
There are two diets that have survived scrutiny in CrossFit. Uh, 